Well, now this is interesting. Uh, strange. Sorry, something weird's going on um, with my phone. I, I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, good morning, everybody. So, um, we are up. We are around. Well, I'm... I'm barely up. Like, I'm going to bed as soon as I get home. I'm so flipping tired today. Like, I struggled those last, like, 20 minutes waiting for my relief to show up. I struggled hard. I mean, I'm trying to yawn talk to you guys. Hey, come on. Because I just can't do it. Oh, my God. I'm just so out. I'm so out. Come on, baby girl. And the dog is like, I think she can tell. I think she, I'm pretty sure she can tell. Um, it's not that I don't feel good or anything like that. I'm just, oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, <gasps> yes, I know. I know what you're looking for, but you're not going to get it. Sorry, still the dog. Uh, anyway, it's getting brighter here but it's still not super bright here so uh it's kind of a dark video i'm sorry uh not really my hair is all braided it's super cute you can't see it because it's dark it just looks like it's pulled back but anyway we are uh we're walking it's a nice day <gasps> a lovely conversation with mr louisiana last night he was going to call me when I got up this morning. Apparently he didn't get up as early today, which is good. I kind of want him to sleep in. It's not that I don't mind that he calls me at 4 a.m., but, like, I feel bad. Like, he, he should sleep in, you know? Like, he should be sleeping. So, yeah. I might try, well, I might text him here in a little bit, like, to be like, all right, good morning or whatever. But, um... I kind of made a mistake yesterday. I got angry. Not at him, but like... <sighs> so, he has health insurance, but it's really crappy health insurance. And like, I have good health insurance. And like, it just bothers me so much that... So, he fell and sliced his thumb open. And I was like, go get stitches. You need stitches. Like, obviously you need stitches. And like, all of his, his brother and like a bunch of family members and stuff like that, they're all like nurses and... <laughs> Oh, and occupational therapist and, you know, the whole shebang. And I'm like, what did they say? And they were, he was like, they told me I just need to leave it, like, have it elevated and, like, bandaged. And I was like, they didn't tell you to get stitches. And he was like, no. I was like, sounds to me like you need stitches. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, like he's like, I have to immobilize it. And I'm like, well, at least go get butterflies and, like, a splint. And he's like, I can't. Because, like, nothing's open here. And I was like, that's such bull. But okay. I was like, well, then go to a freaking clinic. Like, go to, like, a dock in the box. And he was like, yeah, that's going to cost me way too much money. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he explained to me that he has to pay $20,000 out of pocket before his insurance company even starts to pick anything up. And that makes me so angry. And then I got thinking about it and I was so angry. Like during the rest of the phone call, I was just like so angry about this. And I was just like, you know what? And I just sort of blurted this out without even thinking about it. I was like, we should get married just so that you could have better health insurance. And he was like, um, what? And I was like, okay, that's not what I meant. But like, it was the end of the phone call anyway. And I just, oh, I was so mad, so mad. And like, I said it without really thinking, and I think I kind of either scared him or, like, pissed him off. And that's not, it's definitely not my intention at all. At all. But I was just so mad. Like, I don't know if you guys know anything about health insurance. I don't know who, who watches this, like, kind of a thing, or if you're even of age where you need to know about this stuff. Sorry, I'm beyond talking again. Um, but like, so I go in and have surgery and you go in and have surgery. I have insurance, you don't. My insurance company is gonna turn around and negotiate with the hospital and be like, no, she's not paying $10,000 for this. She's paying $1,000 for this, you know, kind of a thing. And they negotiate the price down so that it goes like, so it's like actually reasonable. That's what 
they do. But you who go in and have the exact same surgery don't have that luxury. It's not like you can be like, no, I'm not gonna pay that, I'm only gonna pay you this much. That's not how it works. You still have to pay the full amount that they're still charging the insurance companies when they know they jack the price up. Like they only want the thousand dollars. So they jack the price up to 10 in hopes that they'll get maybe a little more than that. It's, it's this weird, it's, it's insane. And like, because I've been on both sides, I've been there with, I haven't had insurance and had to have surgery and it was like 40 grand. And like, that's astronomical. And yet the same surgery, or actually I, I've had like multiple surgeries since then where I do have my insurance and I pay less than half of that. And that's like, I'm not just talking out of pocket, I'm talking like the whole entire thing. And I'm like, this is insane. So like, I, I just, I got so angry and I was like, screw it. Like, you know, my only, I'm like, I want to fix this for you, but the only way to fix it is for us to be married so that you could be on my insurance. And I think I scared the freaking crap out of that man. And that was not, not the way I meant it. And as you can tell, I've been like brooding about this all night long. Um, but like I said, I'm just so fucking tired. So tired. Like I even jacked myself up on some sugar right there at the end trying to like, woo, make it through those last 20 minutes. I'm super surprised that my, uh, my relief guy didn't walk in to see me doing the head thing. Um, because I was definitely on the verge of that. Um, so glad to be home. Like, I struggled. I live less than 10 miles from where I work. And I struggled just to get home. <laughs> I'm so out of it. So, we are definitely going home at this intersection. Because I need to go to sleep. The other glorious sunrise. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So beautiful. <sighs> oh goodness yeah sorry um anyway i hope you guys can speak young speak yawn speak um yeah because that's totally what most of this video has been um but i'm gonna try to get a hold of mr louisiana some point in time this morning no ma'am you are not going anywhere near that thing uh, so I'm going to try to get a hold of him right before I go to bed. Moon! Looks so tiny. Um, yeah, it's the moon. Sorry, just, just make sure that was what I was looking at, not like a giant, like a star or something. But if a star is like that big, we have bigger problems than, you know, anything else. So, but anyway, we are we're almost back to the house so I really don't feel good I'm so freaking exhausted and I'm freaking out um he didn't believe me when I told him that I would have like panic attacks all the time it's just like nobody would ever know it because of the way I hold myself and conduct myself and I, I have an ability to not suppress them but like makes them look like I'm just being manic or something and it's just here goes my boss to work um uh yeah but I do I have panic attacks all the freaking time so um anyway I I'm going home going to bed I seriously don't feel good uh I think it's just because I'm like overly tired like way overly tired you know you know what I mean come on baby girl and uh um Anyway, I will chat with you guys this afternoon. Let you know how things are going. Come on, pretty girl. You're not going to go play in their sprinklers, okay? Sorry. Um, anyway, I'll chat with you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. Come on. Love you. Be good out there. <laughs>